Hey guys, you're watching BTEC. I'm Basil, and this is a gaming review on the Nokia 8. The Nokia 8 is powered along by a Snapdragon 835 with an Adreno 540 GPU under the hood. This thing is powerful. Paired with 4 gig of RAM and 64 gig of storage, there's plenty of room for all your games, plenty of RAM for all the latest games, multitasking, and all that jazz. In fact, gaming was one of the best things about it, with only one real area letting it down, and that's the bottom firing speaker. Having said that, how does it stack up when it comes to stability with gaming and benchmarks? That's what this video is all about. Before I jump into that, if you're not already subscribed to BTEC, subscribe. It's how you're going to stay on top of everything that we do. Right, let's get back to this phone. 5.3 inches of Quad HD screen is an excellent combination for gaming. Not too big for smaller hands, not too small for big hands. It's a happy, happy sweet spot. And the IPS panel looks excellent, getting really nice and bright up to 700 nits, perfect for outdoor gaming. Now, when it comes to the types of games you can enjoy on here, it's pretty much anything that's in the Google Play Store, although it really does benefit from portrait-orientated games, thanks to that bottom firing speaker being easy-ish to cover up when in landscape. Having said that, it is on the bottom right hand side when held in portrait or the top right hand side when in landscape and so it could be worse. If it was in the position of the OnePlus speaker on the bottom left, it would be even easier to cover up still. Okay, so back to this phone. We tested out a whole bunch of games from 3D RPGs like Dragon Quest VIII right through to Injustice 2, through to Garry Mark of the Wolf for some 2D action and it handled everything without any notes frame dropping. It really, really was an enjoyable phone to use and that's unsurprising given the fact the benchmarks are so, so positive. Firing up and 2-2 and you can see it got a score of 174,642, pitting it right up there with the best flagships around the U11 and the OnePlus 5. This means it should come as little surprise that the Geekbench multi-core score was 6,527. So this thing ranks like a true flagship in that respect too. Geekbench is more day-to-day -day use. While I've had some stability issues with the user interface, I haven't had any stability issues when it comes to gaming. None of my games force closed, none of my games crashed. It just really, really was a very, very enjoyable gaming device. It isn't all about graphics benchmarks though. We also ran Android Bench. As a lot of you wanted to know what the read and write speeds were, you'll be happy to know there is definitely UFS storage on here, definitely not EMMC. Sequential read of 641 pits it right up there, which really comes through, like I said, when you are gaming, there is no slowdown and that'll probably impact the general benchmarking. As a result, the Nokia 8 is an excellent gaming phone, even better if you wanna wear headphones with it. The smooth corners make it really, really comfortable to hold. It feels good in the glossy variant that we've got. The matte one will probably be less slippery. They won't look quite as good. And the screen is an excellent size for gaming. It can also handle any game that you throw at it, which isn't surprising given the fact this is powered by an 835 and costs a fair whack. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick gaming review. Before I run off, a quick shout out to Moshi. They've kitted me out ahead of EFA 2017 so I can use my MateBook X with a whole bunch of USB-C accessories from a 4K HDMI out for when I'm in the hotel room right through to an SD card reader so that I can get my files on the laptop and edit videos on the fly. Super, super handy for a device with just two USB-C ports. I'll be using these all the time. They also look pretty fantastic in the process. And this USB-C to USB-C cable is two meters long. Everyone loves a long cable. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, thumbs up button, like the channel, subscribe. It's how you stay on top of everything that we do. Thanks for watching BTECT.